everyone, the Steve O. Sims here, back on Midwest Horizons, farming in Ohio. So, the fertilizer company brought their floater truck over. Only problem is they brought it a little bit too early. We don't have no fertilizing yet required, but we will later on. Good looking fertilizing truck, I have to say so. Kenworth, big floater tires only issue is I wish as you can see there's no fuel load on this mod so it, it doesn't work with course play I don't know if that's the reason would be nice one of the modders fixed it to work with course play but all the guys that want us me to personally run the equipment you're going to get to see some of that now. So we are going to take this case precision drill with this 9570RT. So I actually changed this. I changed the hopper to the pole type hopper or I guess uh, in between hopper so it doesn't uh, crash the game or cause the game to lag because every time you tab to it, it seemed like it was causing the game to somehow crash and I think it's because it wasn't reading it correctly it always read it as in between so it would cause all the course play helpers to just wander the fields. I think I have a course already for this, so we're going to plant soybeans here. No, I do not. Do a quick course. down to 18 just because so both my planters are 18 meters that way I don't have to have multiple courses Kind of like the looks of the in-between hopper. Looking good. Really love this RT. Glad this 95 RT was brought back into 19. I think this will help course play or at least some of the dirt uh, it seemed like when you use the toll hopper, it would just turn better. Especially, it doesn't matter if you were turning it yourself or course play was turning it. It was just less derpy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I messed up. Yep. I messed course play up. So... We will stop you. And go down here. Delete him. Use last use position. That was supposed to be smooth. I don't know how that changed. It still says smooth after it generates. Yes. So that's what we need. Thought I checked that before I loaded the course, but apparently I must have bumped it or it changed on me. Get this guy started back over here. I 
least we don't have to go that far back. Have to resave this. see how it turns if you do the other way especially with these uh, two implement pulling operations it's just not gonna work great with course play so we're gonna plant soybeans this used to be our big field not anymore so off air we bought another field that's why we don't have no money right now. We got 72,000, so we got enough to keep us afloat. But we got two major field purchases. So we got another major field. It's a field I've been wanting for a while. So field 42 up here we purchased. And we still got these harvesters running. They only got two and a half hours now. How many bales you got? Four bales. Four bales out of here. So. They're running around. We got uh, our mowers running on field 36 with a pickup course. They'll all run by course play. If you see up there in the top left corner, I saw that the glance mod is back out. I really prefer the glance mod instead of the, what mod is this? I forget what mod it shows all the operators. Glance mod gives you a little bit more in information which I think makes it easier with course play controlling or at least knowing what your helpers are doing. can't find the glance mod link though, so I know it's in 19, I just, maybe it's currently private, but definitely a good mod. Good looking rig here, even though it's a Mitch match of Case and John Deere. It's like this has about one hour to run this course. So somebody asked me uh, if I run, if only I run course play. Usually I only run course play for the simple fact that as big as these fields are, I can't keep up with running something myself. And currently, course play needs enough babysitting where I can't run something and keep course play running. And I, to be honest, I really don't like farming without a good GPS. And that, I haven't found a good GPS, one that, you know, works easy enough like the old 17 GPS was. Hopefully somebody is creating one, but I really like running helpers or doing my own work as long as I have that. So definitely one of my favorite mods in 17. I know they're trying to make it more realistic in 19, but I mean, it's still realistic. GPS will turn you around on that nowadays, so hopefully that comes out soon. So we're going to get our combine started up here, and then we're going to have to 
build an unload course. Check. So that's deactivated. That's what we want. We want that activated. And beans, we have two. We want that fill level, so it's not. You can do this or distance, but the problem with distance is you're going to have two unload wagons full at the same time. Sometimes, so. Don't want that. Get this combine running. So we got two. S780s running in this field with John Deere 45 foot draper headers. It's our new field 42. So this pivot up in front of us does not have the collisions that I know of, which is good. It might be a major concern with course play, but obviously can't use it to water or fertilize your crops but basically yep drove right through it basically where I grew up is almost all especially back in the day was all the corn was irrigated on pivots get an unload course created. So basically you want to start right here. I like starting with a slight turn. So see how it, when you turn, it makes the dots closer. So that's how I usually start course play. Beans, we're gonna be running two unload wagons. We need to make sure both unload wagons can run parallel without colliding. So we might destroy a little bit of crops here on the end, but I don't want to have to road all the way around on the highway. This is fairly close to our farmyard, but there's not a highway directly to it, so we got to take the roundabout way. Hopefully here in the near future, course play loads the overload, overload feature. Might be having problems with it because it seems like it's taken a while to come out. But at least uh, now they release a uh, beta version, so we have somewhat of a course play. So we'll go all the way around. And if you have other unload courses, you want to make sure they're all traveling the same direction, especially if you're unloading into bins. Otherwise, they'll have head on collisions. So I always go this direction. Then turn out. So you want to stay to the side of the other dots. both crossing. Obviously you don't have a tractor pileup like horseplay likes doing. It's like one of our combine already needs unloaded. So I ended up harvesting that field but it isn't sprayed for weeds and it isn't fertilized so it's not going to be a bumper crop but big as that field is, it's definitely going to yield fairly good. We 
he's better than uh, Cotton Field is over there. Half the fields harvested, and we've got eight bales or something. That field is gigantic. I probably took that corner a little bit too quick, so I think I should have slowed down because course play when it's going around it might lose control right there so we're gonna go back so what I did is I paused the course we're gonna go back to a spot where I can break it we're a little bit too close here to each other too so then we're gonna trash can are. There's a rock to our side there. There we go. So that should make horseplay be able to make that turn. There's one thing horseplay likes doing is going at full speed. Then when you want to stop your course inside the field, usually the best course of action. And I don't want it anywhere close to the other start point, so I'm going to do it right here. This is him searching for combines on field 42. Right, of course. That's deactivated. So he is off. Off to the races. Hopefully he's going towards a combine that needs unfilled. So now all we have to do is load the same course into this tractor. Activated. You're looking for combines on field 42. Not sure where he's going, but he might run the course. Sometimes it just depends on where you start course play. Or he's gonna do. Yeah, it looks like he's running the course. Looks like he's doing the course play dirt turn. Sometimes you just have to straighten out course play. So he's gonna go run the course for us. Such a nice person. We're gonna go test it out. So he's still got this guy. He's running along. got to set his that's good his distance for his usually don't like doing uh, auto detect because seems like the first time course play goes around it always does a off it's off on its auto detect so distance away for the pipe usually like to have the pipe in the middle of the trailer as close as possible so it looks like we need to get our big M out of the field done mowing. Grab him. I think I'm going to take him over to a small field of grass. Pick up wagon, still running. 
So that's definitely a good reason to have horse play. You guys like doing that type of work, more power to you. But after a while, that that definitely gets monotonous to me. So, uh oh. So, piers, we might have some derpation. So I didn't pick up all the grass off the last crop because. We didn't have no room or area for it, but now it looks like horse play. Don't have a horse for this. It's going to do that. That'll probably cause some derpation. Is one of the good things about having pathfinding activated on your combine. So I am going to activate that feature on the outside for the first pass around. The only thing bad now is, yeah, we can go over here and we can move our combine and everything, but the problem is, is the one behind us is going to be coming up the rear. So, pathfinding is not the best thing to have because it kind of causes some dirt. They still have some work to do on it. Oh, I'm going to have to stop old girl behind us here. Pathfinding basically it goes off to the side, which you kind of need on the first path. That's why it was designed. But it's definitely not good on the second pass or after that, so it causes more dirt than the, what it's worth. waiting for the operator in front of him. So, him. So another thing I do is Probably reload the course because otherwise course play is gonna think it needs to still unload the first combine. Where are you going, buddy? We still need you to unload.
restart him. I don't know if that will cost him. Fix course play. This is one of the bad things about course play. It can't return very well. Can't go that way either, buddy. now there's no not using course play on for this Play with course play and unload. Looks like course play is gonna come over here and try to unload. distance quickly. There we go. Almost perfect. Working on the first headland pass around this field. Carton harvesters are still working on their fifth bale. I think over there we'll pick up I did pick up some off screen so we can make a little bit of money here it's kind of wondering how much money this would be let's see about 250,000 that's not too bad not too shabby so we'll definitely pay for the cotton harvesters leasing
Don't know if I'll get big into cotton harvesting on this uh, map. Primarily for the simple fact is I don't think they do it much in Ohio. So. Well, it's nice of them. They put two bales right back to back to for me. Very considerate. We actually have nine bales. I think we just have nine bales. Not, don't see another one. Sometimes it takes a while for the bales to load in your screen, especially when you're on a big 4x map. You probably need to. Uh, service the cotton harvesters too. That's one of the things I would like. I think the glance mod has it. It's uh, the repair percentage on your vehicles up there in the top left corner. So. One thing I was hoping it wouldn't do is fill both carts up. So at least he looks like he is full, so he will head to the grain bin. So we'll run with him just to make sure our course is working great. Doesn't look like he's turning at a great speed. It's pretty weighted down with 34,000 liters of oats. It's always good to check your course with a loaded course play operators because sometimes they get a little bit bouncy when they're full or they take a corner too sharp and not be able to correct themselves. Looks like our swather is done with the small field too, so run this course we will go get him headed back to the farmyard Forge wagons still picking up grass too, so we're gonna have a fair amount of silage here. Have it unloading directly into the fermenting standing silo. Another mod I was really hoping would come to 19, now it has. We need to get the Fertilizing co-op truck to 
basically uh, fertilized grass fields that were just swapped. Also, there it goes. It's loading directly into the bins. Looking good, course play. You see down there, our course we have loaded has 459 waypoints in it. So waypoints are the little dots you see when you're creating course play. Slight turns. Whatever will create a slight turns or uh, just constant speeds will create a dot. Dots get closer together when you turn. So far this course is working flawlessly. It's not completely perfect, but pretty dang good. Pretty good with this power push, plus plus. Is it power pushes, plus plus. Oh, and it looks like we're going to have two operators running side by side, so we will also test make sure we got them far enough apart. Here it comes. Just perfect. Plus up the field speed so that way, because this is a bigger field, just would like them operating a little bit quicker. Looks like there's also a combine that needs unloaded. Hopefully he's headed that way. Taking off. Get here. So it looks like we need to service our combines. You can tell because they're going slow. I usually just do all the servicing right here in the shop. window this thing about a 4x map you definitely have to service your equipment but oh that is why not check my lease equipment. Duh! How many bales you create? Five. Five bales. Still has just under two hours left. So we will cut it off here. So we will continuously run these harvesters until they're done cotton harvesting. We will continue the oats harvest on our big north field. Finish up planting the soybeans and field 31 and 
finish picking up the grass in our grass field. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.